guys, welcome back. This is Joe's Architect, and today we are going to be getting a little bit more work done, as you can see the farms behind me, and also tragedy strikes. Man, I hope you guys are ready. So I think today would be a good day to start working on this uh, this top section here and sort of getting the floor. And I think I I'm really turning this into like a farm. We have our wheat farm down here. I think we can split this up into two or three separate farms itself and maybe have a separate carrot farm, um, have maybe another crop farm like that, have a sugarcane farm and just kind of get some more farms going in here um, for resource gathering later on down the road. And I think that is, that's going to be perfect for this. Um, and then we also might want to start working on the way to get down here from the main base. Um, that's another project we're going to start today. And uh, it shouldn't take too long to uh, to get that going as well. So yeah, big part, clearing this out, of course. Um, we need to keep some torches down here. But we're going to be filling this in with some dirt. We're going to get some water placed in some very strategic places. And uh, hopefully we can get this thing up and running and looking mighty fine today. Look at that, we can get this all kind of rounded out. I think that'll look good. This will be our actual walkway here. So we're not kind of stepping in our other farms or things like that. So yeah, of course, this is going to need to be all changed and we'll figure out what we're going to use for a walkway. I think this area, we may change the floor. We may not keep it this pattern. I don't know. Thinking, I'm kind of thinking we might throw in some actual brick or something like that into here. But for the most part, this is already nice and cleared out. All we got to do now is collect all of our blocks that we've dropped. And uh, yeah, go ahead and fill this in with some dirt. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little bit of a, a time lapse there just to get kind of all of this done. Um, but I went ahead and planted just a few things. I got some seeds planted. I got some carrots over here planted. Um, really, I just have to wait for some of this stuff to grow because we didn't actually have normal farms for a lot of these things. So potatoes, another thing that I need to plant and also beetroot will be something that I need to get in here as well. So yeah, a lot of stuff uh, to, to, to be worked on. Um, but one of the big things that also needs to be worked on is we need to basically figure out our tunnel that is going to lead us into this this area from the basically the rail track our, our central rail track that we had been working on so we should be able to do that um and we should be able to get that tunnel started today and uh, hopefully be able to decorate it and stuff as we go in the next couple of episodes so let's go ahead and find some coordinates um i would prefer it to either come in through here, this area over here, um, and I prefer it to come like like around this this level um, to kind of meet in with everything else. So if we can get it to literally come in through here, that would be amazing. Um, so we need to basically get our coordinates, and if we hit F3, of course, we'll be able to see our coordinates and thus be able to write them down. So after we get all of our coordinates nice and wrote down, um, we are pretty low to the ground. Looks like Y level 23 is where we're going to be pushing for. Um, and we're, we're going to basically just, you know, compare our coordinates and see exactly where we're at here. Come on, I want to swim. There we go. I need to fill this in as well. Let's go ahead and do that while I'm here. This will just make it easier for us to go up and down. There we go. Where we can actually swim. It'll be way faster that way. All right, so we're going to head back out here. Also, we'll grab some sugar cane while I'm here because we don't have any of that up there, nor do we have any sand. So I might want to grab some sand as well. Look at you chickens in here hanging out. We'll grab a little bit of sand. I think I have more than that. Yeah. I think we used a lot of sand in some of our other builds and stuff. All right. So there's some sand. Um, but like I said, we need to go all the way over here to the edge. Take our little walkway. Still never filled that hole. <laughs> and then go down here, because this is where all the fun happens. Like I said, we got a lot of work to do down here. All right, so our main train area is right here. What Y level are we looking at here? We're looking at 47, so we're not exactly there. I think what I might do is I, I'll pull this area over here and get this area working. 
because this is right here. This was where we were doing our other stuff, but technically we have a lot of room to work with here. And let's see, we are looking for four, negative four, um, 21. So we still need to go in this direction a little bit. So working towards this direction is going to be what we need to try to achieve. And it's going to take a little bit of time. And then also, we have about 60 blocks to go in this direction. And we also need to go down just a little bit. So hopefully, we can get there in no time. And we've done it. We have now made, I know it's a mess, but we have now made our way all the way over here. I do have some areas I kind of need to fill in. That kind of exposed in the back. We don't really want that exposed. There we go. Uh, but yeah, we have a lot of blocks to pick up, which is perfectly fine. But as you can see, this is the way that we have made it down here. Of course, I'm going to clean this stairway up. It's not going to be like a sheer drop for a lot of these. We're actually going to clear this, make it look a lot cleaner. But yeah, basically we have this whole thing set up. Really, we could just put stairs down here and this thing is ready to rock and roll. Um, and yeah, we have a way, an easy way of getting into the ravine without needing a passage through the water in the top. Even though I technically want one, but this is be this will be another quick way for us to get to our base. Um, and yeah, all we gotta do is kind of walk up this grass path right here. Bam, we are where we need to be. I'm loving this. Yeah, this is super fun. Like, <laughs> you, know, I never, you know, I never know how my projects are going to turn out until I start working on them and get about halfway through. And I'm like, either this is fun or this is just tedious. And that was actually kind of fun um, to, to actually get that going. Now, I am going to run into an issue where I'm probably going to run out of chest space. This Through this whole project, well, these chests were empty. We have brought in very little resources because this thing has basically um, generated the resources itself. It's generated the coal needed to produce the stone needed for the brick. I mean, it's just done a lot of stuff for us. Uh, let me find that sand. I'm going to go ahead and get some of the sand stuff set up because we should be able to take some of this water. We might need a whole line. That's where I might use this over here for. It seems like a nice little area, like just to have like this whole line just be sand right here and then just put, you know, water in the back. Let's see, we'll just go ahead and break this. Why not? Why not just do this? This whole area. We'll just fill that in. And then place our sugar cane down. Let's give us a nice little sugar cane farm area for everything to grow. Now, a lot of these areas are pretty dark, and uh, we're going to fix that with some hanging lamps like we did the other area. But for right now, these are turning out to be really, really great. So, you guys did mention, by the way, uh, you guys did let me know what I should be naming this. And I've actually picked somebody, and we have a winner. Um, I did go through and I looked through all the comments from both episodes, uh, the both the last two episodes, and also the post that I made on the community tab. So if you guys haven't already checked out the community tab, I do post there. So if you go to my channel, up at the top where it says videos and playlists and all the good stuff, there's another tab that says community. Um, I usually post images, I'll ask questions and stuff like that there, and inform you guys on some really important information if need be. That's a really great place to go check out um, there on YouTube. So, if you guys haven't already checked that out, you can go do so, but I did go ahead and select somebody. And Seliki, you're the winner. I really, really like this Bio Rift. That is like really, really cool sounding. And we are kind of making this plant life and kind of terraforming it and everything like that. So technically this is a really nice bio area and it also is a ravine or a rift, um, which I think looks really cool. It's got a really nice shape to this ravine. Um, and yeah, I think that's gonna be perfect. We'll, we'll call it bio rift. 
And that's what it'll be called in the next few episodes as well. Um, like, as long as we're working on it, I'm going to call it the Bio Rift. So, yeah, I really appreciate all the comments that you guys did, uh, that everybody posted. Man, I really appreciate that. And I hope to do more things like this in the future where you guys can actually get involved and uh, kind of feel like you guys are in the, the episode as well, which is awesome. So I realized something <laughs> as I was mining just a little too much. I almost, almost broke my pick. I mean, whoo, that was a close one. Very, very close. So we need to go repair that real quick, which just, you know, as we, uh, as we all know, a hop skip through a couple portals to get to where we need to go. Voila. Ooh. Got some Enderman up here. That's okay. Uh-oh. That's not good. Guys, we may have just messed up. Big time. I mean, big time. <laughs> that is not good. Um... We have no way of getting our items back if that just happened. No! <laughs> oh no. I don't think I have any backups either. Like, this is bad. This is not good. Um, okay. So yeah, getting to that area, the only other way we have is to go down. The, the only chance we have is maybe that our pick is safe. Like, I could care less about, like, our pick and our elytra. Oh, please be, please be safe. Our pick and our elytra, please. Please be safe. I, I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. No, I'm so nervous. Like, our, all of our items could be gone. If we don't get to them in time, as well. I mean, that the time, I'm not worried about. Our items, like, blow up and spill everywhere. Oh, this will be, like, our first, like, m real death that is, like, deadly. Did I just wanted to repair my tools. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guys, no, all we got back was our boots and our axe. We have no pickaxe anymore. We have nothing. Oh, this is a bummer. Man, that took a turn for the worst. Well, I guess that just means more AFK fishing. I better grab some ender pearls. It might make my life a little bit easier since we just literally lost about everything. And uh, we're going to have to figure out getting another Elytra. Because, um... Yeah, that might have to be a whole other episode in itself. Because we don't have an Elytra now. And we should have gotten a backup Elytra when we had our Elytra. And we didn't. So I'm learning. Survival skills. Yeah. That... Oh, wow. I've never... I never noticed... The obsidian pillars go below the actual island. That's interesting. So, yeah. That just happened. <laughs> oh, I am so mad right now. I am just so, like, it may not sound like I am, but I'm so frustrated. Oh, I can't believe that just happened. Oh, man. I, I guess, you know, I'm not a pro. I'm not a pro Minecrafter, as you can see. Because that just happened. That just happened, guys. So, I guess I can just hang my head in shame. Just, just hang my head in shame, because... We just lost everything. Oh, what do we have that we could even salvage up? Like, do we have enough to even make a diamond pick? I know we have some diamond. Um, maybe. I don't know where my diamond stuff went. 
so we have a chess piece. We still have that. We still have our trident. At least we didn't lose our trident. Um, we have our really nice bow. Hmm. Man, getting that back up to efficiency five is going to be pretty hard. We have efficiency three. Uh, we have efficiency four. We might be able to get it back up to efficiency five. We have a mending book. Smite, blast protection. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is another efficiency. So, yes, we have an efficiency five right here. So there's efficiency five book. Perfect. Um, fortune, three. Okay. That's pretty much all I need in unbreaking. Knockback, blast protection, smite. Protection. I don't think we have any unbreaking. Where's my diamond, though? I think I know where some diamonds at. It's Remember, we hid them in our base. That's what we did. We hid them. From ourself. For a case such as now. Okay. So, well. That did not go as planned. Not at all. Um... Throw some ender pearls in here. It's gonna, yeah, it's kind of sad we don't have an elytra anymore. That is gonna be fun getting another elytra. We already have a bridge though, so maybe there'll be another island nearby. Hopefully. Um, I probably should grab some beef. We'll cook up, get some steak going. I should probably check my iron farm. Hmm. I'm sure we have fish as well. We always have some cooked fish. There we go. Uh, yeah, and let's go ahead and head back down to our mine, because that's exactly where everything's at. That's where all of our diamonds are stored. Everything's down here. I'm sure, okay, we got, oh, we got a good amount. Nice. See, so yeah, I can't elytra glide down here. I can't do anything. Oh, man. When you're so used to having that elytra and then you lose it. Oh, this is devastating. Oh, this is my first, like, uh, vanilla devastating loss. I need to make that platform bigger. There's our diamond. Ah, oh, good. Oh, man. Say, well, I knew we had a good amount. I didn't know we had this much. We almost have a whole stack. That's just from us doing that mining there. Stripped all that area out. Goodness. Head back up here. We're gonna get us a pick made. I don't think we have enough experience to really do anything. Um, and I don't think we have that many uh, enchanted books. I haven't done any fishing in a while. So when it comes to books... Oh, there's another efficiency book. There's another efficiency. There's another efficiency. 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 Wow, we got a lot of Efficiency 5 books. Or 4 books. There's Efficiency 5. Right there. So we don't even need this. I do with the Fortune 3. Uh, Smite, Fire Protection Bane. Do I have any un Unbreaking? That's the only other thing that I really, really want. And Unbreaking takes a long time to get, by the way. I enchanted a lot of books, a lot of books, and had a hard time getting Unbreaking. I don't think I have any other books laying around. Nope. I mean, having these on there is going to be good enough, in my opinion, but we definitely need another pick. And so let's go ahead and get a pick made. So there's a pick. Um, we probably need a shovel as well. And we're missing legs. And we're missing a helmet. Right? Yeah. So we need all of that on there. Mm. Man, that, that was not good. That was not good at all. Well, also we need a sword. almost forgot about that. We need a sword. 
sword would probably help to go get some experience. So, uh, I guess we just need to go get some spirit experience. And the best way to do that, well, I guess would be go to the guardian farm. Uh, because we have the enchantment table and everything there. So it'd probably be best to do that there, in my opinion. So putting the enchants on our book, we should be able to get efficiency on here. So there's efficiency. And fortune three. Okay. What else can we get on here? Do we have any unbreaking? Unbreaking three? Oh, I didn't know we had an unbreaking three book in here. Oh, that needs ten levels. So that shouldn't be too hard to get in this farm. Like, the, the, the amount of experience you actually get from this farm is really, really fast. You get way, way ton of experience. Okay, so th there we go. That's looking more like it. Like, our super pick is back. Right? I think we're not missing anything, are we? Efficiency, fortune. The only thing I would want, like, I don't want silk touch on this. What are you doing in here? What are you doing? Oh, I got gold. Nice. Uh, so yeah, what other stuff do we have in here? Efficiency, unbreaking, protection, thorns. Like, if we get another unbreaking, I definitely want another unbreaking in here. Yeah, we'll have to definitely farm for another unbreaking. Oh, there's unbreaking. Because whenever we get our elytra, there's an unbreaking three. We'll take that with us. So, yeah, when we get another elytra, we're definitely going to need that, plus that mending book that we had, uh, we're definitely going to need to use that. Man, what a fail on my part, guys. What a total failure. That is no good. I should not have failed that hard. Maybe I should start using the Guardian Farm again, because it's just safer. It's just safer all around. I don't know, man. After that loss, it's going to be hard for me to go back to the Enderman Farm. It is really going to be hard for me to go back there. I just, I just can't. Devastating loss. So, man, today's episode took a crazy, crazy turn. So, ah, man, next episode is going to be kind of ridiculous. We're going to have to go back to the end and get ourselves another elytra because I don't think I can do without an elytra, guys. I really, really love that thing. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, of course, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also, give this video a huge thumbs up man at least for the loss i mean you gotta give it a thumbs up just for the loss that happened absolutely crazy ah <sighs> anyways i will see you guys in the next episode as always thanks for watching